This is Ken Lathrop from Coffee Crafters, and today I'm going to introduce you to our new Artisan 9 commercial roaster. And this roaster replaces our six pound roaster, and we boosted our hourly output by about 50%. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start a roast cycle with this, and then well, during the roast cycle, I'll explain the different features that it have and what we changed over our last roaster and what it does. So, Carrie, you want to go ahead and turn on our exhaust blower? One of the things we did different with this roaster is we've added something that people are asking for, which was the green bean hopper up here for preloading. Because with the, with the design changes we did in the heat management, we can roast and cool at the same time for back to back. And so we actually designed the hopper so it accommodates a standard two gallon food grade plastic bucket. Um, fits right over the rim of the hopper so you can preload your beans. And these are great because you buy these on Amazon. You can get them in 10 packs for like 30 bucks. So we'll go ahead and load our beans. Now, if we were doing back-to-back -back roasting, we would go ahead and stage our beans, get them ready to go. And as soon as we get the um, load going, we would preload this with another load. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to turn on our system power switch and we built a light into this now because used to you had to add your own light, but this one has a light built up inside of the hood. Um, when we pull this rod out, we're gonna load our green beans. It takes about six seconds to load uh, the bean. Shut that off and then we're going to establish our loft. and we're roasting coffee. This, this roaster is exactly the same as the inside on the electronic part of the Artisan 6, which has proven to be so reliable over time. But everything else inside of the roaster has changed. We actually have roasted as much as 48 pounds an hour in this machine. I have a nine pound batch in here right now, but actually the highest production load capacity we found was an eight pound batch, because you can roast eight pound batch in about nine and a half minutes. If you have your beans pre-staged in the green bean hopper, you can dump your next load and do six cycles an hour. Uh, so we've been able to roast 48 pounds an hour. The other thing different in this machine is how cool it runs inside. So, and to achieve that, you'll notice that if you've seen our old roasters, they didn't have the louvers in the front. We actually moved everything around inside of the heat chamber void, and we have a high temperature silicone tube that vacuums the air off of the top of the heat chamber. And even after you've been roasting for an hour, you can put your hand any place on the roaster, including right up next to the neck there, and it, it, it's cool to the touch. Just like our other roaster, you do have to turn the beams down as they lose their uh, bean mass, they get lighter, they'll loft higher, so you, one of the adjustments you do have to make is to turn down the loft, just like our, like our other machine. For the air handling system on this, we've gone from a um, 1180 CFM 110 volt exhaust blower to a 1550 CFM 220 volt exhaust blower, and, and then we design a plenum for the back to do air sharing. Because when we go to dump this load of beans, what we're going to do is we're going to open our bean cooler blast gate, but we're also going to open the blast gate to the exhaust hood. In some of our earlier prototype models, we found that when we were dumping our beans, um, because it was a higher volume, we got a lot of smoke in the room. So we decided to go back to the drawing board and build an exhaust hood in the machine, which turned out really nice. And then it gave us a platform for installing the green bean hopper up here too, which aided in that back-to-back -back roasting. The bean cooler has about a 10 pound capacity. Um, and the electronics in this machine, if you're somebody, maybe you're a customer who already has an Artisan 5 or 6, this is the exact same power requirements as the Artisan 6. It requires a 60 amp, 240 volt dedicated breaker. But because we boosted the efficiency in this machine, the Artisan 6, when you were roasting full six pound loads, it would cost, the energy was about 0.6 kilowatt hours per pound of energy. 
And the Artisan 9 is using about 0.4 kilowatt hours per pound of energy cost. So if your energy is 10 cents a kilowatt hour, it's about four cents a pound. So the Artisan uh, 9, even though it's an electric roaster, is just as efficient as a gas roaster. This roaster is sold as a full system. So it comes with all of the ducting and tubing on the intake side to uh, do all of the plumbing on the back. In fact, while we're roasting here, let's show you a, a, a still picture of what this roaster looks like on the back with the venting. And so you can see from this picture, um, everything that we have is nice and neat and clean. It goes inside that, that mass. And then the, on the very bottom of the roaster, you'll see the plenum down there. And that's the air handler that shares the air. And that blue silicone hose that you see is what's sucking the air off the top of this heat chamber, which is what's keeping our roaster here so cool. And it doesn't move a lot of air. It's like 25 CFM or maybe a little bit less, but it's enough air moving through the machine to keep it cool. One of the benefits with our electric roasters is being all electric, they don't roast in natural gas exhaust, so it doesn't infuse the hydrogen sulfide into the coffee beans, which is great because that's a health benefit. And it's really good for our roaster to have another benefit they can advertise with our roaster because it is really clean roasting. All this chaff is going up into, into the, the hood, collecting here in the chaff collector. So there's no combustion of the chaff, you know, which can affect the, the bean taste. One of the exciting things for us is with the five and six pound roaster we had at 30 pounds an hour, we were a little bit smaller than the, the 10 and 12 pound drum roasters, which were 80% of the micro roasting market. So with the upgrades that we've done to the Artisan 9, we're 45 to 48 pounds per hour, which is we're right at the top end of that class for, for production per hour, which is great for our customers who are starting a coffee roasting business because you can roast, you know, uh, you know two, 300 pounds a day, um, just like the top end, you know, drum roasters. And this machine is hitting the market at $85.99 for a complete system, including the exhaust blower. When you look at a 12-pound drum roaster, uh, let's see the ones that are from manufacturers in the U.S., we're about a third the cost of our nearest competitor, and some of those competitors go up to over $100,000 for their system. And the maintenance on this machine is really low. Um, the electronic package in here has been so well tested in the Artisan 6s. I talked to a customer yesterday who said he's just passed 80,000 pounds of coffee with his Artisan 6 roaster, um, which is a lot of coffee through there, and the only thing he's done to it is replace an on-off switch. So there's not much to go wrong on the inside. So our bean temperature, we just passed uh, 360 degrees. We'll be getting close to first crack here pretty soon. You'll notice uh, for those customers who have an Artisan 6 who are considering upgrading to this machine, um, the loft is a little bit more controllable. Having a higher pressure air column go through there makes it a little bit less sensitive than the Artisan 6 was, which has been nice. On the installation of this roaster, it's a little bit more involved because you have to go through a sequence of installing the gimbal uh, hopper, um, and then the mask on the back, and then it takes, it's best to have two or three people when you actually lift the hood up into place. Once you get it into place and lock it down, it's, uh, it's a fairly easy installation from there. It's not difficult. Um, it was hard to make that any easier than it is, so. But with a couple people helping you hold the mast up here, it's great. Another one of the large improvements that we were really excited about is having a gimbaled hopper. With the old roaster, you had to unlock the hopper, take it off and manually dump it in the cooler and then relock it down. With this one, we just uh, lift up some up pressure on it. It's gimbaled, it rotates to the right to dump into the bean cooler. And last winter, we did lots of testing with uh, cardboard boxes and gimbal points until we got it just right so that this nine pound load, when you dump it in the hopper, it spreads it out nice and even. So it's nice and even through the, through the hopper. 
The roaster comes on a pallet. It's a lot larger than the pallet that we had before. The shipping cost was a little bit more. Um, but it's still at a 40, 40 by 40 eight inch pallet, so it'll fit in the back of a pickup if you're going to pick it up at a depot or they can drop it at your home with home delivery. I think the total weight of the pallet is about 360 pounds on the pallet. So we have a, um, we're putting together an installation uh, video, uh, which will have all the pictures that we'll have in the manual to support the manual. So when you purchase the roaster, um, you can watch the video, kind of get an idea of how it's going to go together before it gets there. This roaster is still an all manual machine, just like our other roasters. And what we found is that the, it, it's so easy to operate this roaster. We didn't complicate the design with a lot of electronic controlling. Um, you can use some software. Um, if you want to log, do data logging, which some of our customers do with our other roaster. And you can create any roast profile you want. It's just a manual adjustment. But the nice thing is, is um, you have infinite heat adjustment on this, just like our other artisan roasters with the heat dial here. So you can dial that up and down. Actually, we have plenty of heat here. I'm actually gonna turn my heat down just a little bit. Okay, we're at about 430 degrees here. And Kerry tells me for a shop, we're gonna to roast to about 450 degrees. That's what the shop likes. We're gonna take this out in the factory floor here pretty soon. So you'll see a lot of videos online. We have a full video library and you'll see a lot of videos of the Artisan 6. This is basically the same, same type of roasting. So, and it's very easy to learn to operate. You can be up and roasting, you know, about 30 minutes after installation, you'll do your first batch and realize how easy it is. We've actually had people that would fly out from the East Coast, we're on the West Coast, because they, they think that they, uh, they think that they're going to need uh, some instruction. But actually when they get here, they find out they don't. Okay, we're ready to dump now. So we're gonna open our cooler and our hood. He's going to stir the beans there a little bit. Now, if we had another load ready to go, we would just open the gate, we would load our next one, and we would be off and roasting again. You'll see a blast shield on the side of the handle here. And uh, Carrie and I learned when we did our first prototype that when you dump the beans, the, if you have the air running, it'll, get on your, it'll blow right on your knuckles. So we installed a blast shield on there that works, works good for keeping that away from your hands. So that was it. We just roasted an entire batch of coffee here. Um, one of the things that we will notice is we have our exhaust blower still running, and I can put my hand all the way up inside of here, right next to the chimney, which um, you may have heard on some of the blogs, people were talking about the heat that accumulated on top of the Artisan 6, which it did, it got a little warm. This is the same as the Artisan 6, though. It's the electronic void is cooled also with the bean loft blower, so it sucks the air through it, cools the electronic, goes down through and when we added that part to the system, uh, we stopped losing electrical components. So. so that's it. If you have any more questions about the new Artisan 9 Roaster, uh, just give us a call or send us an email. We'd be glad to answer those questions for you. And stay tuned because we'll have a lot more videos coming.